Tommy Toothpaste Toys here and welcome back to another video showcasing stuff I've bought over the last couple of weeks. Now I haven't done a video, I think it's been two weeks since I've done one. Um, I went to a, did go to a little car boot last week um, but I didn't end up creating a video so and it's been a bit of a hectic week so I thought I'd make one now showing everything I've got from the car boot last week, um, a couple of little charity shops, um, some purchases online and a few little extras so I'll, there's a bit to run through so I'll go as quick as I can right so firstly these are the items I got from from some charity shops I got a Captain Hook figure still with the little blade in his arm got a Pirates of the Caribbean figure with the action, still works. Missing his sword though. Uh, WWE, one of the Wyatt brothers, I think. I um, can't remember which one this is. I got a modern style action man. Really weird looking. Never seen these ones before, these smaller action men. I got a gladiator, but it's uh, English gladiators. Um, I think it's 2011 or something like that. I think it's from a little beast Burger King toy. Pretty cool looking. An old McDonald's toy. Still works with the mechanism. Tiny little Galactic Heroes. Um, what are they called? Is that Sly Snootle? No, that's not. That is one of them from the band, from the Max Rebo band. Can't remember which one he is. And I got a little Pokemon toy as well. Have a little swingy head. That was all the little bits I got from some random charity shops just occasionally while I was passing through. Um, the next lot I got, this is all the charity, uh, the car boot that I went to last week. Um, it was in my local village, so it was literally around the corner so I didn't have to wake up early or anything because it started at 10, which was great because I totally overslept that week anyway. Um, and it was indoor as well, so it was even brilliant. So, yeah, so walked in and there was a stall and they had some wrestlers there so I got this guy Rey Mysterio and I got a another Rey Mysterio he's, he's always quite popular and the paintwork seems to be still quite alright the tattoos are pretty clear at the moment haven't really rubbed off too much so I got those two guys then I found a stall and he had a few bits. There was a few people buzzing around them. Um, I assume lots of the best bits had already gone. But I did manage to get this guy from Thundercats. Oh, totally forgotten these guys' name now. But as you can tell, the joint on that arm is a bit loose. And I don't think the action works either. No, but it's Thundercats nevertheless. And this guy as well, pretty worn, but on the Thundercats character. Also got this quality walker. It's electronic, it does take batteries. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not sure if it works. But it's pretty cool. This Disney monkey, I've totally forgotten where he's from. I recognise him, but I can't remember what I've seen it before. Now I saw this one, a bit weird, I don't know much on it. Um, I'm interested to know if anyone knows anything on it, but it's definitely a bootleg from what I can tell. A big bootleg Power Ranger. Very odd looking. There's not really any 
the markings apart from made in China. Unless he's not a Power Ranger, and I'm getting completely confused, but it certainly looks like one. He, she, looks like a he. But it's pretty cool. And then the last thing I bought there, um, I went around a couple of times, um, as that's all I had found, and then saw a lady and she had a bag, and I had a little look and I realised there was loads of parts of a castle, and it was a My Little Pony castle. I won't show you all of that, but um, it's all in bits, it's got the instruction and everything, it just appears to be mix missing the box. But also, she had lots of G4, Generation 4, My Little Ponies. So I got that one, I think that's Fluttershy. Um, can't remember who this one's called, but she's part of the castle. Got a Rainbow Dash. None of these are particularly rare or expensive as far as I'm aware. This one is um, Sunset Shimmer, I think it's, he's called. He, she's called. Sold a few of these and they sell quite well. Eight, nine quid, ten quid a time. Another Rainbow Dash, but with a more of a Ziggy Stardust eye on it. A Shining Armour, that I think also goes with the castle. Uh, really can't remember what this one's called. Um, no, it's not going to come to me. Applejack. These are all the standard ones, the Rainbow Dash, your Applejack. Um, not sure, but it's a different version of the one with got that heart with the sort of emblem around it. Different version, looks pretty cool. Rarity is another standard. And a Twilight Sparkle, but with those wings. Not sure if they're meant to stand up or not, but. Oh, I've also got a couple more. Um, they got the harder hair. I can't remember what these two are called, but that one. And I think that's a Princess Twilight Sparkle, that one. So I've got all of those off the lady and the castle, which appears to be completed. So many parts of it, I haven't actually put it together yet, but it's for five quid, and I thought that was an absolute bargain, especially the fact that I can sell, sell um, Sunset Shimmer for, like, yeah, like I said, eight, nine quid. Last little item I got from that boot sale, I'm really starting to like these and I wish I didn't because I'll end up collecting them. I'm trying not to, I'm trying my hardest, but I keep finding them and they look so good. Chap May figure, another Chap May figure. So in case you don't know, Chap May is like, a, they're just made in China figures. They tend to be loads of, diff loads of their own original characters, but they're almost like knockoffs of everything, they just mimic everything. I don't know what this is copying, if anything, but he's so cool again. I've got a few of these, I've got a few different ranges like the pirates, the monsters, the cavemen, some futuristic ones and now I've got this guy, he's sort of a bit of a cybotic ninja or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, um, so that was what everything I got in the car boot. Then on to some online purchases. Now I have to say a massive thank you for these next two bundles I got. A big thank you to Dead Inside a Hollow Shell on Instagram. Um, I bought a few things off him. Um, some really nice bits as well. Especially one bundle in particular which I'll show you in a second. But the first bundle I got off him was a back of him bundle. I got quite a few of them. Um, I really struggled to identify these so I can't remember what price he sold them to me, um, and I will put the link to his page on there. Check him out, he's a horror collector, um, he also collects dinosaurs, dragons and the like. He's got some really cool stuff on his page, really cool items, which you're about to see. So I've got this back again. I'll show a few together because there's quite a few of them. These few.
these couple. These two as well. Some of them are obviously popping open a bit. And these three as well. So quite a few, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them. So eleven of those. And also cards, which I don't often see of these, so especially the metallic ones, the magnetic ones, so there's loads of these. Maybe about 20, 25. Loads of different cards. Some of them I think go with them as well, so I'm not sure. Need to still go through all of these, but that's a cool little set. I might need to move these along a little bit, make a bit more room. So I bought that, um, and then next week he messaged me um, saying, "Would I like to buy this lot?" And I thought, "Wow, this is brilliant!" I mean, I spent twenty pounds on this, and these figures just look awesome. They're so good. Um, first little thing he threw in there threw some Gormiti figures in there. I can't remember their names. And I've got this guy, a little sort of tree stump thing, like made of roots and all that. He's pretty cool. And I've got this guy, really nice looking with the wings. This guy, I've actually sold him before and he's got his shield. Loads of these have got their weapons and stuff. I will show you those in a second. And then a smaller one as well. Sorry, and another little one. And I've got like the shield from that purple guy and another sort of claw um, from the blue sort of aqua guy. I've got like a lobster sort of claw, tree, tree root hand, some more hands. So I've got a few different bits there. But the best thing about this lot I got a box of, I think it was about 11 or 12 Kenna alien figures, and they're in pretty good nick as well. Some of them are absolutely beautiful. I got your Blue Warrior. Lovely looking. Swarm alien. Flaps still comes off. I'm trying to work out to get him off. I did have him off before, but there you go. Nice little thing there. I got. Oh, I think that's just called a flying alien. I can't remember. Still flaps. Great looking things, these. The Mantis alien. Still works as well. Face hugger. I'm not sure if he works or what he's meant to do. If there's another piece, there is a little tongue coming out there. Bull, he is missing a horn. Oh, drop this one. Try not to. Gorilla. With his arms, pretty cool looking. Nice looking on that one. I think that's the queen with the tongue. Nuts, absolutely nuts. Um, I think that might be the arachnid. I think. The Night Cougar, I'm struggling now. But as you can see, there's loads here, absolutely loads. Um, I think that might be the Panther. Might have got the Night Cougar and the Panther 
Because it's mixed up, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I have. I think I've gone wrong here. Because is this the wild boar? I don't think it is. Um, pretty cool. Everything's still there. Love this one though. It looks pretty cool. So all of those, I can't remember how many that was, and also four weapons in perfect condition. So for 20 quid, what a bargain. Absolutely amazing bargain there. Well shot with that. Now the last thing, certainly not least, my mum went to Portugal and she started sending me some images of flea market. Now it's pretty difficult. I was out and about at the time, but I was trying to see certain things to, to pick up. I found this guy stood out as a Jordan Space Jam in blue. I've sold him in white before. Pretty awesome. I know a few people who collect Space Jam. I got the smaller pound figure, the one less often seen on, you see, on, you know, the dreaded eBay and all that. He's not the actual large action figure. And then she's actually picked me something else up for myself for my collection, my turtles collection, but I'll show you that in another video. I'll show you all the turtle finds I've got in the last couple of weeks, as there's a few of them, and this video could just be like, ridiculously long otherwise. But, got this figure. Now, I was very confused when it arrived. I, it's not really any markings. Looked into it. After a bit of researching, I found out uh, from Laser of Justice and I think there were six figures and it's a really rare not necessarily sought after but really rare line from I think it's from Spain and this is one of the figures they don't appear to have names as far as I'm aware but I've seen there's like four humans and I think there's two robots or if you can count him a robot but I haven't found much on him um, don't see him on eBay very often uh, there's one currently on there which is one of the humans and I think he's listed at something stupid like a hundred pounds or 110 pounds um, I think it was one euro this or one euro fifty absolutely ridiculous especially the fact that they just don't come up so I was well chuffed with that find so massive thank you to my mom for finding those um, let me just check and that is everything so I hope you enjoyed the video, um, please subscribe if you did, leave some comments, help me out with a couple of things, especially that large Power Ranger because I'm a bit confused by that or whatever he is. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, all at Tommy Two Face Toys, all the links are on my YouTube channel, check out Dead Inside the Hollow Shell as well, I will put his link on this video. Thanks for watching and I shall see you soon with my turtle finds.